What's up, everybody? I'm calling from Deco Network. We are here in Atlantic City for the Impressions Expo 2021. As you see behind me, our Deco Network booth, we have a few visitors checking us out. Uh, this is a pretty big trade show, so we're going to be here for three days trying to get some potential Deco Network users added on to our giant network. So come check us out. We're going to be here for the next three days. Yeah, we just got done talking to a Deco Network user. This is uh, his website. Yep. Morning, Broy. Very cool. It's always great, Victor, right, when people from Deco Network come up to the booth that are already using the software and you kind of get to chat with them for a little bit. Yeah, it's quite exciting because you get to see like uh, what they're working on that I can show you. Right. Uh, and then we also like to show them what's next, what, what, what we're working on. Uh, so it's always good to kind of connect with people. Uh, so yeah, at a trade show, we like to uh, show our new products to people who never heard of us, but yeah. also awesome to hear from people who's already using it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Hey guys, Colin from Deco Network. While at the trade show, we were able to chat with a couple of content creators. Our own Victor Marquez was interviewed by Alan Wade of A-Dub Productions on YouTube and was asked about Deco Network. And um, why don't you tell us a little about, about the service uh, that you guys offer with this website right here. Sure, so Deco Network is uh, software for printers and embroiderers to manage their business, both production management side of things, interacting with customers with artwork approvals, but also online stores, websites with an online designer so customers can get instant quotes, make payment, and you receive your artwork and you can begin production and ship that out to the client. So it just streamlines the whole customer experience. So I thought it was cool because for those of you guys that are not good at communicating with customers as far as like what their artwork needs to be, the specifications, or uh, if you're just not a people person, <laughs> this company can take care of that for you guys. So you guys should check it out. Deco Network, is that what they look for? What's the website? That's deconetwork.com. Deconetwork.com. That's right. All right, man, thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right. Yeah. Victor was later interviewed by YouTuber and content creator Mike Tease. I was then able to chat with Mike and ask him about Deco Network and his experience attending the Impressions Expo in Atlantic City. So I come to a trade show like this to gain some information, much needed, uh, so I can give it back to my audience that follows me. Um, currently we do squad talks every Saturday and we bring on special guests. We ask them about their career, with the reason why they chose their path and uh, what helpful tips they can give to the next person that may be looking to do what we're doing. The reason I started making content is because there's only like two or three people out there when I started making content and I wanted to make sure that I got the right information out. And sometimes that's very hard to do. So who is your main target audience? Is it screen printers, DTG, or is it a little bit of everybody? It's everybody. It's not one selected audience, but the mass, the masses. Anybody that wants to get in, anybody that's trying to learn something in the right way, you know. Uh, do you have experience screen printing or DTG or have you printed so, your own stuff? I do DTF, direct to film, but I don't do it with a machine. I have, I buy like uh, packages, you could say, transfers, and then uh, I do vinyl mainly. My other forms are uh, plastic transfers, so I'm doing everything except for the manual labor of screen printing, if that makes sense. You know, you said you had heard about Deco Network. Um, you know, how important do you feel like it is for your audience to know about, you know, a company like us uh, that could potentially help their business? Well, first and foremost, I own a store. So when it comes to inventory, sales, keeping track of everything, you need one place to where you can do that. And I had a chance to experience you guys in, uh, at Instant T-shirts down south. Once I was down there, they explained thoroughly your system. I'm like, well, I hope they're at the trade show. 
walked in, you guys are like the first booth. I'm like, I've got to talk to them guys. So it's just very important. It's very, very important. What's up, everybody? We are here at the Impressions Expo 2021 in Atlantic City. I'm Colin from Deco Network. And I'm Victor. I'm Brittany. And we are walking into day two in the convention center. So, Victor, how would you say day one went? Day one went pretty good. We've taken a break from trade shows, but this is the first one back. We met a lot of people, met a lot of good connections. So, we're excited for the next two days here. Yeah, no, you're kind of the veteran of the group here. So, how would you kind of compare day one to mm. previous trade shows that you've been to? Uh, people seem a lot more excited. I think everyone's kind of just eager to get out out there you know expand their business see what's new so overall it's been a pretty good pretty good experience and being in Atlantic City this is your second time this is mine and Brittany's first mm -hmm. time in Atlantic City so how are you liking the trip so far so far so good the weather's nice yeah this is the first time we've met you man you're from California so yeah well, mostly we're working on Skype you know be working right. from home these guys are new hires for the most part so it's the first time meeting them face to face they're okay they're okay <laughs> yeah so day two what do you expect in day two day two I think day two might be a definitely a busier day it's Friday Thursday uh, was yesterday so I think I think a lot more businesses are going to be out here, a lot more interest. Uh, I'm excited about Saturday. Usually the third day is the slower day, but uh, the third day is a Saturday. So maybe we'll actually be having two strong days back to back. For sure. Well, let's see what we, let's see what we encounter today. Yeah. We'll talk to you later, guys. And then we also have a website of things where you can actually launch a website with our platform, postings included. It's integrated with suppliers so your customer can pick a product, create their own custom merchandise, get an instant quote and pay for that quote online. Yeah. And then you and your team get the artwork files and everything you need for production. Okay. And also um, with premium, so, so basically what I mentioned is all on standard. Yeah. If you go on premium, now you can actually launch like fundraisers, like uh, uniform stores, like uh, school campus, like, you know, have their own website for just their merchandise. Uh, and then also affiliate stores. So if somebody wants to launch their own merchandise, you know, they do all the marketing, all the designs, yeah. they make the sales, but the website's hosted with you and all transactions and all orders go directly to you. What do you do? You do screen printing? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, our online designer can uh, detect whether uh, uh, you're going to need a white base, how many colors it has. Uh, the customer can replace colors on a JPEG or a PNG okay. and then swap out colors and even knock out colors like backgrounds, white backgrounds on white shirts. You don't need that. So based on their uh, choices, it'll adjust uh, the quoting price uh, live for the customer. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Right, thanks, yeah. Man. You're welcome. What's up everybody? Colin from Deco Network. This is Victor. This is Brittany. And we are recapping day two from the Impressions Expo Atlantic City 2021. How did day two go, Victor? It went pretty good. Hey, bigger crowds today. Uh, you know, we, we met up with a couple of YouTubers. So exciting. Uh, you did a few interviews. Yep. So more content coming out. Um, it was a pretty good time. What about you? It was great. We made some great connections today. We can't wait for tomorrow to see what tomorrow brings us. On day two of the Impressions Expo, I went around and chatted with a few vendors, including Estevan from American Print Supply to talk about DTG. Here is a sneak peek from that interview, as well as one from Eric from SWF Embroidery about making the switch to owning your own equipment. People know the printer mechanics, but there's more to it than that. With the direct-to-garment process, it's kind of three pieces. There's pre-treat, the printer, and then some form of curing the ink. So for pre-treating, it's a, basically a solution you're gonna to apply to the fabric that will allow the white ink to bond. If you're not printing on a white shirt, you're probably gonna be printing white ink underneath the colors. So I would say for a design of this size, uh, medium quality for a garment of this uh, fabric, you're probably looking at about just shy of two bucks in your ink cost. As far as the pre-treat, probably about another 25, 30 cents. So it's pre-treat, print, and when the garment comes out, we'll use a heat press to make sure it's cured. And if you dry it for about a minute, your customers will be able to enjoy about 50, 60 washes. But the resolution, the detail, the durability, it can't be beat. So 
Epson F2100, available from All American Print Supply, one stop shop for all of your printing needs. My name is Eric Ziegler. I work with Stitch International with SWF Embroidery. And today I want to talk to you about the, uh, the perks of doing your own in house embroidery opposed to outsourcing your embroidery. Um, so most of the people when they get into embroidery, they maybe haven't really uh, done much work on the machines or really understand uh, the full functionality of the machines. Um, so they get a little intimidated and they want to outsource it. Um, the perk of outsourcing is you don't lose your customer. Uh, you do retain that customer. It's never a good thing to tell a customer, no, you can't do something. So you covered all your bases by outsourcing there. But you are losing out on money. Uh, and this is a part of your business that you want to retain. You want to bring it back. So with SWF, we realize that we have to get an entry point to get you in to embroidery and get you saving your money. Um, so what we have is we have our single head machines. And our single head machine right here is the EST 1501C compact machine. So not only are we going to teach you how to use this machine, uh, we're going to give you all the video in-house training on it. You're going to have everything you need to start on day one, but we're going to show you how to use it. Uh, but for the first two years, that machine, we're going to be there with you side by side, every phone call along the way if you have any questions. We really like to build partners, but we're also going to give you dollar for dollar value for that machine when your business grows to trade it back in for a larger machine, four heads or larger for the first two years. So we're really giving you the opportunity to take one of these machines, learn how to use it, make all the money you can for two years, and let's grow your business. So that's the perks of in-house opposed to outsourcing, and uh, let's do a good job and bring everything back in and make as much money as we can. After a long three days in Atlantic City, we closed up shop late Saturday afternoon after what turned out to be a very successful trade show. We talked to a lot of great folks throughout the three days and were very pleased with the way everything turned out. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we look forward to seeing you at the next Impressions Expo in Fort Worth, Texas in a couple of weeks. Check out the description below for more information on who we were interviewed by and who we chatted with during our time in Atlantic City.